I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title, men reject only fans, girl, and she can't handle it. That isn't anything new. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> what up, sweetheart? No, yeah. no, I'm no so more. Good. Your eyes are f***ing beautiful. No I'm not with this TikTok shit. <laughs> He's not with that TikTok shit. Yeah, I'm not over there. Yeah, L, L. L. You're, you're, L. you're a four out of ten. Let's no. go. No. Yeah. No, no I, I don't want to kiss. No. I don't want it. Get away from me. Bro, I'm scared. Please. Help me, bro. She's for the streets. She's a four. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this man just dodged a bullet and a potential disease because before this she was trying to kiss every man that she saw. For the night, for the night. So who wants to make out with their sweet cows? Real quick. We're going. She belongs to the streets and to her fans and only fans that she sells herself to for less than the price of a large pizza. You got hundred dollars cash or a bitcoin? Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars cash. You didn't have to cut me off. Should a guy make yearly? 400,000. This is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Are you looking to sell your house fast? The Cash Offer Pros can get you an offer within 24 hours. Fast. Well, why Y'all must hear this one more time. It's, it's, it's quite amazing, may I add. It's quite amazing. How, how, how dumb the modern Western females is. It's fucking amazing. It just me. I ain't taking down one of them serious. None of them ain't worthy of being a future mother of my children. I'm picking up my son based off of as if I was the son I'm having. And on, I don't even want no daughter. I put it in an infinite domain. I affirm things to thyself, not your God. Fuck him. I ain't having no daughter either. I'm that disgusted with them as a collective. I ain't looking for no needle in a haystack. I'm a realist and I'm a stoicist as well. Hoes is stupid. Hear this once more. Let me know what you think, buddy. Should a guy make yearly? 400,000. This, this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. If it's going to be 400,000, at least be 400,000 worthy. Being little to nobody. So literally, no, you got to have your purity. 400,000, that's what you expect looking like these. And whoever else then put you in however else many submissive animations and nigga probably put his foot in a you know how disrespectful niggas is dog but they like that shit he put put his foot on the back of that bitch head and, and, and fucking her from the back and put it in every hole she got right afterwards probably had a threesome and some more and then these holes be having a the audacity and they be in fucked up Kias, being your vehicle, your body, and media lied to them and told them they can ride with an old school James Bond coupe or a Rolls Royce, whatever you like. Bitch, you can't ride with these, they done lied to you. On top of the extra abilities and the extra things my car got, being my body, everything I learned, and I'm competent as fuck. And yet these thoughts think they entitled. Cold slime mayonnaise bowl eating holes. I can't, I don't get it, bro. Why you said it? I mean, there's bills, there's a car, there's a house, there's finances, there's out to eat, dinner, groceries, kids. Fellas out there, bro, you you know, statistics show if the female got more than two bodies that she would be more susceptible to breaking it off or cheating on you, etc. Why would you, if you know the ramifications of this, it's in a nature, period, in the United States, you feel me? You already at risk, everything come with a risk. But you see the risk clear. It's more risk, higher percentage. Why would you put yourself in that position? And the females, we want to shower with gifts and all that. As the females, it's like, oh, you shouldn't have. She don't even want nothing for her. She just want everything taken care of. How it's supposed to be taken care of as a provider, male. That's all she wants. Them the ones that deserve the world. But the ones that think I'm finna... Or even buy some weave so you can put a whole nother race female hair texture in your head because your shit fucked up or some eyelashes. I grew up having nightmares about weave. That shit was once in my fool. I've been through the ringer. And voluntarily, of course, I will not see that shit ever again. Not if it's up to me. I'm going to control what I can. What I can't, surrender my worries to the universe. I ain't worried. 
But hoes be having the audacity to say these things. Like, you think you dolled up? You skinny as hell? It's... So would you date somebody at, at, at his lowest? Why would I be broken happy? I don't know. Man. I can't be broken happy. Can you be broken happy? Can you eat a sandwich and f somebody and get sexual? We need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. I can't. Well, why not? I can't get f and be broke. Who the fuck do you think you are? Would you like support him? I mean... Support him at what? Being broke? <laughs> I don't know. I'll only support somebody at their best. I'll only want you to be your best. It's my pit back. She will only support. Did, did she? She she said that right. You heard that right. She will only support someone at their best. I don't want no fake motherfuckers with me when I was in through the trenches. Nigga, I was born in that shit involuntarily. I'm less than because I was born in it involuntarily. I'm getting out. But nonetheless, that that's that fake. I don't fuck with that. That fake fickle shit. Fling your ass, Lady Tsunade. Get the fuck away from me, foolish one. I'm God's man. I ain't regular man. I ain't them. That's crazy. But shit, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, you not my type anyway. The only how I'm fucking these is I ain't, ain't gonna be the pussy. And it's gonna have to be at a low vibrational state when my sentence by default is high vibrational. Your best attribute is leaving it on your face. That's it. No titties. And I can tell you ain't got nothing down there. And hell nah, I'm cool. I become a nun or a cat tamer because there's no rich man that's gonna wanna. Women, listen to me. They don't fucking do that. <laughs> Is this your first time talking to women? God damn. Oh, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? All right, good. Yeah, they need to change that caption from free open to war to free useless to war. Absolutely useless. Are you a male or female? Email. Email. An email. You're not a male. You're not a female. You are email. Uh, email. Email. Pop the balloon to reject the girl. My name is Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old. And I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it, though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome, for sure. one. So you only like and me because I'm beautiful. Just like I'm beautiful. Yeah, but that's not why I would only like you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability, you right. can't add anything to my life. Right. I don't disagree, but what are you expecting, bruv? You're on a YouTube channel where you got to pop the balloon to reject her. What, what are you going to do? Find your wife on there? Thank you. My boyfriend dumped me yesterday and he was like, I don't know, I just didn't know I wasn't gonna be ready for a relationship. And I totally get that. I mean, it was honestly unfair of me to expect him to be in touch with his own emotions because like boys get surprised by their own emotions like a baby gets surprised by a fart. I beg your pardon? They're like, ah, oh, what's happening? They cry. They just don't get, they don't know. What the fuck are you talking about? The fact oh, she's no. going to TikTok to tell this story to millions of random people just tells me everything I need to know about her mental state and why her boyfriend probably left her. I'm losing her. Have we tried everything? Is she married? Uh, yes. Ma'am, your husband has just sat down and he looks comfortable. Babe, could you help me move? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyrese, walk us through the nails too, man, the holiday. You know what I'm saying? So we, we went through the red green. Uh, the, the person who's doing my nails said they could do a design, so they actually told me, um, they showed me a Christmas tree with some ornaments, so I decided to get some ornaments on it for Christmas. Nice. I know a lot of people don't like that, but, uh, man, just kind of... <laughs> There's enough people encouraging this type of shit. I'm here to encourage you to stay masculine. I don't get this. I wouldn't go as far to say they gay, because do I believe niggas like ASAP Rocky and them is gay? No. It's just some, some, I don't know. Some jiggy shit. I ain't jiggy wit. I don't know. Shit, the, the goth guys do that, and they don't be gay, right? So it's like, it's not my thing. The only how I see you can possibly let something like this slide is if you got daughters or something, and you letting them paint your face and nails on some, and then you watching it, but... Imagine squaring up with these. That's crazy. One of this bitch like Steve Fox and Tech. I can't do that with the Nah. And to not paint your fucking nails. Yeah, I'm 
like Steve Fox here with it. He had the nails painted. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Stake the wood! Stake it faster! Finally, it's surrounded! I must defend my homeland! Not enough wood! Quickly, chop down a tree! Yeah, this a man. That's what a man do, you see that? What? Can't walk in this bitch with no nails painted. The most I do, and I never done it yet, it's like going get a... When they do your feet and your whatchamacallit, I wouldn't mind doing that here and there sometimes or whatever. I haven't done it yet, but painting my... Nah, what the fuck off of me. I like clear nails. So when you're talking about at the end, the men just want to be seen, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. They're like all heartfelt. Yeah. That is actually the women. Yeah. Because you guys have the power, so we just want to be seen. But you are seen in relationship terms and stuff. You're like adored instantly. Mm. That's the whole point where it's like women and pets from the minute they come out. Pets. <laughs> they are though. Like the minute a pet comes, a dog comes out, it's immediately loved. Yeah, because it's so cute. Men aren't immediately loved. And why is that even? No, but it's true. You've got to earn your worth as a man. You do have to earn your worth as a man. I don't think so. Listen, you do not know shit about fuck. You don't think so? No. Really? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Fair dude. There's some very cute people who would be immediately loved. <laughs> and some men with only a face a mother could love. It's just the way the world works. No, I'm not talking about like the simplest term of like, oh, look, he's cute. In a broader term of life, you have to earn your worth as a man. <sighs> you do have to do that. Because otherwise you get pushed to the wayside. You go around now, you go outside on the streets of London and, and go to a woman and say, your, your man, your potential future husband, how much do you want him to earn? How much do you want him to, What kind of lifestyle do you want for him? Yeah, but men are like but, that with women yeah, now. No, but, if you're, no, but for the, the history of... One second. The heat is hot. I got to turn this shit down. I'm back. The time especially it's worse now you see it on tiktok where they're like what do you want your man to earn a month they're like 10 grand oh i see engagement which is, ring which, ones how yeah, much a man got which spend is, on a ring which is again yeah such an alien mindset so my point here is men if you don't live up to this one percent standard you just get pushed to the wayside mm. you could you could leave me here now and within an hour have a geezer yeah you are in, i would have to graft someone for in weeks. A young pretty woman can get on a yacht anywhere she wants just because she's pretty. A man, if he wants to get in the important rooms, he's got to bring some sort of value. Rich men marry pretty broke women all the time. You don't see too many rich women marrying broke men just because they're good looking. Most men, whether they're fat, tall, handsome, short, whatever, have to earn their value. Let's be, let's be realistic, Samuel. It's about value. Uh, yeah, about and value your value is low. Oh, wow. And how do you know that? You're not Because sure you're five foot four and two Okay. And 37 years old with two kids. That's how I know. In Kentucky. <laughs> okay. You that's your opinion. It's not my opinion. You never seen my body before, so you just I don't have like... to see your body. I know you're five foot four and almost <laughs> with two kids in Kentucky. And 37. And I see your picture. And he you see it. A... You just say you And I'm listening to how you talk. And I'm listening to your energy. I'm listening to your tone. I'm listening to your relationships. See what it is, you ladies don't like when somebody is just direct with you, honest. I got no dog in this fight. I had a woman on here earlier and I told her she was absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about this one, to be honest. I'm pretty sure if men found out about an overweight 37 year old single mother, they'd all be racing to get to her. Half of all women have a guy on the back burner just in case things go wrong in their current relationship. And I have to sit here and defend all of us women. I was just as shocked reading this data. More than half of women who are married and categorize themselves as happily Wait a married. Sec. They're married. Happily married happily women are doing married? this? Have a backup plan. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this sh I'm gonna go out like um, Kevin Samuels or something. I'ma be Fox Motor rolling out this bitch with a Dana Scully. Have you seen the X-Files? I have. I'd rather wake up in my nice ass bat cave. I ain't gotta hear no belligerent, loud, immigrant mouthpiece from no dot talking. Nothing I can make my own food. Shit, hopefully by then. The last X-File episode I done seen was like in 2018. He had a robot and everything. So by the time I hit the age, I will have an actual robot that's cooking food. Cooking food is prostitution should be legalized. I agree with Joe Rogan. You feel me? I'd be straight. 
I'm cool with that. I'm cool. I'm fine with that. I don't want the picket fence and a dog. Kick that dog. Fuck them dogs and them kids. I don't want what media told me I should have. I'm different. I don't care about that shit. I'm going to acquire the philosopher's song. Solomon's ring. Covenant of the Ark. I'm going to do something that supersedes anything. Some minuscule shit. How you go from building a pyramid to running up and down a court being LeBron James with a rubber basketball motherfucker, you ain't gonna reduce me to such. I might have the covenant of the Ark right now. You will never know about it. Government ain't confiscating shit for me. I got some things in store for me. I don't give a fuck about, oh, have a family, yo, pick your fence, so wife, and man, shabba dabba do. I'm cool, I don't want no. <sighs> Let's continue. And in most cases, it was either an ex-boyfriend or an old friend who never made it to the dating category. Get out of town. Unfortunately, yes. Problem is, is y'all getting played cock, nigga. I ain't getting married. I ain't having no daughter and I ain't claiming nothing here in the Western modern day civilization. And you ain't worthy of being the future mother of my children. Shit. I go on, like the one niggas doing, they going to, they can predetermine the, the gender and implement what they want and take out recessive genes they don't want and i'll do that before i'm now i'm going out different i'm gonna scope my life how i see fit not what the people before me did or who finna do what fuck both of them i'm doing what i'm doing i'm worried about my story not his story what the fuck this shit is crazy how you feel you see the statistics they got a backup plan for your ass crazy I'm cool. I don't need it at all. I'd rather just fuck what I want and fuck who I don't. You feel me? And move about my life that way. Well, I might get an extraterrestrial female one day. Who knows? Shit. Life been that ups it's been that obscure up to this point. Who knows what the future holds? But I'm not surprised. But me knowing the statistics and knowing all I know, down to C make a last in a bitch for up to seven years. It can and will rewrite her DNA. You can have the biological father of your current kid and his genetic composition could still compose of a whole nother niggas ejaculation. That's crazy. On top of the energy signatures and propensities and tendencies and actions you take after. It can be some music you don't fuck with, but the nigga that's fucking you fuck with that. You find yourself listening to it. It work like that. It's deep. It's real. I don't want to collect no Gentiles. I want in Shang Tsung, motherfucker. I was Sub-Zero type nigga. Noob Sidebot. <sighs> shit crazy bro so many on top of female can get stretched out ph balance could get thrown off and her emotions that shit is connected with her sex you, you feel me my dick ain't connected to my heart if i go and fuck a bit they don't mean i don't love you it ain't the same thing because you be having those kind of females like oh if he can do it why cannot it ain't the same thing one of those i wouldn't even look her way that's a dumb thought at that point but yeah it's crazy so it's like you got that and it's just a more cold slot of toss on top of your chili dogs. Being most of them that's in this happily married. Got something on a back burner. Y'all getting dead wrong. I've refused. I know all I know. I know this part. And it just tossed some more shit on top of this plate that I already know. So it's over with. Undertaker. I don't want no parts. I'm cool. I don't need that to wake up and roll over to one of these modern Western bitches. Nah, I'm cool. I want to wake up in a bat cave. Trip wire. You try to come in my spot. I hear you trip over. I roll out the bed and hit your ass. Bullet time. Social media has just made it too easy Terrible. to have such a type of behavior. See, this is why if you're a nice guy, you don't save these women from the streets. If that's where they belong, that's where you leave them. Or it will bite you in the ass in the future when they get bored and they run back to the guy they actually want. <laughs> Not quite how I seen it, but nonetheless, first time seeing this video in life. We're watching this th together, guys. I'd rather wake up in a bat cave. I got a robot in the kitchen. You seen Joe Rogan? They're going to have robots. You can get you Nicki Minaj face and a Nicki Minaj body robot, and that can be your sex doll if you want. Not to say I'm going to get one for that reason, but I'm going to get one for my for my food, my lunch, and, 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 my, and my fold and my clothes and shit. And I ain't got to hear no wild bitch being combative. Shut the fuck up. Like, I could just wake up out of my bed cave, look at my vision board, 
do my affirmations, get my cold shower in, brush my teeth, you feel me? Have my healthy smoothie ready from my, my robot that just made it. Um, Finna head to the gym, man, get me a, a good two, three hours of that sun. Man, I, that's how I see, man. I'm not waking up with a picket fence and a dog and paying property taxes to something I still never own. And then I got to keep attending to this bitch trying to wonder if she's stepping out on me like stepdaughters and... I'm cool. I'll be Fox Motor rolling at this bitch with Dana Scully. I'm not going. I ain't no lame. Will no smut be attached to my rep whatsoever. It's crazy. And y'all niggas just in it. I'm laughing at y'all with the extraterrestrials. I will not be a part of that. No sorry, Bob. But yeah, this how I see something like, yeah, wake up in a bat cave alone. I'm good with that. I was born alone. I'm a die alone. I'm right with that. Right on. I'm going to ascend along. I'm going to get the philosopher stone along. I'm cool with that. Forex lifestyle. It's crazy, my guy. Shout out to you, this channel. For you, it's crazy how you just implemented this video. And I literally was specifying on this before you showed this clip. Like, no, I'm fine waking up in the bed cave alone. I'm fine with that. I'm a solitary type nigga. That's what it say above my eyebrow. Solitary archives. I'm a stoicist. I'm a realist. I'm competent. You incompetent, cunt. Well, it's easy. Let's be honest. Yeah, the forex lifestyle is so easy. Stop the cap. I want to get into that too. Trades, day trades, stocks, and all that. Cause that is a somebody, bro. Tap in with me. Let me know. Show me what you know. You feel me? We move together as a unit. I'm looking for my fast, too furious family. I want my group to compose of everything. A reptilian, a good one. An alien, a good one. Draconian, a good one. Tall white, a Gilgamesh, a good one. An angel and a demon, but they good ones. Chinese female, a uh, um, Chinese female, a Chinese male, Japanese female, Japanese male, Korean female, Korean, J Jamaican, Haitian, African, American, Caucasian. I want my group to consist of everything. We all got these different, like we all a melting pot. We all come with our ideas and we all got this foundation. Codes, ethics, morals, principles, integrity, honor, and righteousness. You feel me? And then on some fast, too furious shit. I want my soul tribe. But yeah, let me know. Get me hip to the trades. I know y'all know some shit. Let me know what you know. I'm a fast learner. What do you do? Actually, I'm a trader. That's crazy. My group will compose of everything idealistically in the perfect world, except for a fake Jew, because you claim it's something you know you ain't. Everything but that. And that's unnatural, weird, odd, cringy, and against nature. But everything else, you're welcome. A trade or a scammer, like the rest of these muppets, faking a lifestyle so they can steal people's money. Because most of these donuts are not making money from the thing they're telling you to do. They're making money from the shit you call. But I get that kind of money. How much that Lambo costs? $400,000? No, I take 70000 of that and undergo my John Wick training for five years straight. Go and meditate with the monks. Go and grow my own food, vegetables, and all that. I'm trying to do some different shit. I'm a different kind of nigga. Fuck you look like hopping out of a $400,000 car. And a nigga with some John Wick skills can come and kill you easy. You are a drop off. You are extra in this movie. And opposed to having that money and your skills and you being competent and renowned. Nigga, I'm putting that to that and learning my languages and even sign language. I want to have all my life skills intact. Because then you can, can you really replace me? You can't. I'm competent in every facet. That's important. All my life skills, how to call this as a wound, how to sew, how to fish, how to swim, how to fight different styles, how to assemble and assemble guns with or without a blindfold in a few seconds, how to work every gun. Man, oh man, I'm trying to do some shit. I ain't like these niggas. It's crazy. You got drop offs running around in them cars. Nigga just hop out, square up with their ass, knock their ass out and take their car or leave them high and dry in the cold like a GTA pedestrian. Niggas is non-playable characters, not me. What's they're selling you, which is basically free information from Google. They'll make these corny little TikTok edits flashing money and women because they know that's what attracts young men. And young men are the most vulnerable and the ones that buy their shit. I ain't one of those. I can be a billionaire one day. You ain't gonna never see me flashing my money. 
I'm not one of those. I'll flash my skills, though, me whooping six niggas' ass on some John Wick shit. I'll flash that, though. I'm competent. I don't give a damn about this. It's cool and nice to have nice things. I ain't saying it ain't, but being a drop-off, spending... Imagine spending $500,000 on a vehicle, guy. But yet... If you let's say you need to get out of the city and it's, they got two hitmen after you to kill you for whatever reason. It could be you invented something, water car generating system where you ain't gotta use gas. You know how they killed like ten people that invented that. And then you're trying to get out of Dodge. You're gonna be a drop off. They're gonna catch up with you and spray your ass and you're you're going out. You're not competent, you don't know what to do. When you could have spent money on being ready and learning what to do in these scenarios that you believe is impossible. Now, it's possible. It's happening to people. It happened to people. It will happen still. Imagine that. No, I'd rather that be in my vessel and me knowing what I know and the post and me riding in this car that costs that. Nah, I ain't like that. Because don't fall for that type of shit because most rich people don't flash their money like that or make corny TikTok edits. I went through a thought phase. Doesn't mean I'm a thought anymore. Sure does. What was your... You don't want to know what I heard from a bitch? I'm going to let you guys in on it, a little secret. I just thought this because it's like you can never really think from a female perspective. For real, for real, because you're not a female. But I used to think, okay, what's the female reason to be thotting? On, aside from the predictive programming and coercion to get everyone acclimated to the new norm. But I was wondering, like, what? why is they thotting? Why is it so rampant and... And I overheard a bitch say what I thought, but at the same time, I second-guessed my thought when I shouldn't have. But she literally said what I thought. Oh, who gonna stay in the house all day? I'm not, I'm not doing that. Who gonna just be, be one nigga, have one dick your whole life? What? That's boring. And that's what I thought. And then I heard a bitch say this and overhearing. Not trying to hear it. Not eavesdropping, but overheard it. Bitches think like that. That's what it is. I'm disgusted. I'm appalled. I don't want no parts. I'm God at that point. Get away from me, foolish one. That's how hoes think. My kid won't have no whole gene. That's over with. Bitch, gone. A fez. I guess I'm kind of always going through them sometimes. So <laughs> <laughs> There's only one place you'll ever belong. She belongs to the streets. I shit you not. I overheard that from a bitch and I thought that by default. Like, this gotta be the reason they think it's boring or show enough. This is what a bitch said. It's the truth. It's crazy. And I doubted myself a little bit. Like, nah, I gotta be something else, right? You gotta be something more to that. Overheard a bitch say that. One dick your whole life? That's boring. I ain't. So you can be with a bitch. She's sitting there on the couch while you paying the bills and she daydreaming about being bent over and all them other submissive animations about the different archetypes that had her. I ain't, I'm cool. I will be Fox motherfucking motor rolling out this bitch with Dana Scully. Go and watch the X-Files. How she was chasing him. I ain't claiming no thought. I ain't tender dick and I don't give a fuck about a bitch. Give me the philosopher's stone. I live forever. I can f fuck what I want and fuck who I don't. I ain't gonna give a damn about that. I want something ain't nobody got. Floyd, none of them niggas that got the billions. I want something that ain't nobody got, nigga. <sighs> That's it for this video, man. Turn me up. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video indeed, Caillou, or thumbs down. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble before I kick your ass and we get the rumbling at this bitch. Hopefully you learned something today. I'm keeping it real. I'm like your big brother or something, telling you the truth. What I wish someone would have told me at like the age of 19. And when you around that age and somebody asks you, if you can stay at age, what would you stay? Stupid ass said 21 just so you can drink. Nah, you get the 25, another light bulb cut on. Like, damn, I was dumb as hell just at 24. Well, not compared to the mass majority. I'm talking about myself. It wasn't good enough to me in comparison to what I am and what I know now. So I can only imagine being at a 35, how much more would I know at my how much more amplified would I be with neural pathways unlocked, emotional intelligence enhanced, and my doormat DNA fully online. So I look forward to it. But yeah, I'm teaching y'all the real, bro. Make sure you don't fall into these traps. I told you all you need to know. So you shouldn't be getting married. You shouldn't be taking this shit serious in the United States of America, Western females. You The bodies and how long they could last and everything I see. And you can go and look this shit up for yourself. I just told you everything you need to know.
when it comes to this realm of things. So you shouldn't be going for it, Caillou. You're welcome. I'll see you on the next one, man. I'm out.